Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about some of the coding tips or standards during Pega development which will make developer life easy for tracking issues or uh, for checking all the instances. Another important thing to share is, so for our YouTube channel we have community tab. In that community tab I have published many Pega jobs or uh, polls like that. And if any new video is there, that also I'm posting over here. So please do check out this community tab frequently. So whatever LinkedIn posts or some personal posts uh, regarding jobs, I would be posting in this. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is you can reach me personally in this top mid. you can book a video meeting with me so that uh, i can have one to one chat with you guys let's get started into the topic so in this video i would be covering just uh, some useful nine tips that is very useful for all the developers so first of all most frequent mistakes everyone do is page list uh, issues Example, uh, we have a data transform, I see here, the index is hard coded here. What if we did not get a result? So in runtime, we will be getting an uh, execution error, which looks very bad and uh, our development will be completed. But uh, in some instances, we won't be having a value for example for some of the address uh, where they are passing some value so in these instances instead of just directly hard coding it before that have a check to check the length of this page list so we know that we are having one function if you go here length say length of page list so this length of page list you can use and uh, if that particular length is greater than zero, then only you refer this uh, respective index like this. Otherwise, it would be creating some issues in uh, some of the edge case scenarios. And another thing is hard coding of the index. Don't hard code the index uh, because there might be instances uh, we would be uh, adding some values in between due to data messaging and all so try to use a uh, uh, append of uh, while uh, setting some values instead of uh, giving directly like this example instead of one uh, you're setting some value here so dot some value if you are setting just don't uh, use this particular index use based on your need like append or prepend like that so it will be useful suppose you want you know the index where uh, this has to be done again like i have said length of the pages you can take uh, to a parameter and that parameter uh, index you can increase it and you can give like a param dot uh, index over here so it would be very easy and uh, damn sure there won't be any issues like uh, next uh, use for more data transfer instead of activities. We know that uh, activities if we use more we have to take care of guardrail uh, score and all. So use more data transform and you configure more parameters and all. Normally uh, for uh, we go for the activities to obtain some functions and all. So in uh, data transform itself, we have a uh, option to use uh, some of the OTB functions. So if you go to functions here, based on our needs, we can see those functions. Otherwise, uh, we have some OTB activities also like uh, OBJ save and all. So we can directly call that uh, activities over here using execute an activity function over here. So try to use as more as uh, data transform. And example, you are having some 10 to 15 steps. So try to use this uh, particular feature called as command. So for uh, example, user story 8976, uh, I want to uh, set for some scenario. So use this command. So it will be very easy for other developers also to go through the code and uh, to do the changes. Otherwise, it would look messy a lot. 
and not only that uh, coming to looping of a page list and all so we know that we can use this append to and append and map to while we are setting values to some page list or data page suppose if you want to make source as a page list and uh, for each page in you can go and you can refer here and same pages you want to use as source you can use this so if you use maximum these things right uh, it will be very easy uh, for uh, configuration and maintainability instead of activities also our guardrail score will be protected if you use more of these data transforms and uh, define the parameters over here and parameters also we have uh, different uh, data types also so it would be good uh, usage of this data transform next configurable constants uh, when we are uh, dealing with some inst integration right instead of hard coding some constant values use some data types or uh, dss because dss is very useful for us and we can maintain it uh, easily so all the places uh, we can uh, use the same dss if we want it you know that uh, dss will be there under this admin and dynamic system settings so this dss like that we can use and uh, another thing is uh, use of data page uh, effectively yes this is about right you know like connect rest uh, example if you take one of the example like this one see pega itself telling like uh, to create a uh, system settings so here instead of providing url use application setting and here also uh, when you open this instead of hard coding this right you can use equal to data page and uh, basically what i suggest is create a data type and uh, have uh, three uh, columns like uh, url uh, sorry like environment integration url enable disable okay so maintain this right so if you have n number of uh, integrations all the integrations you can maintain in a data type uh, which is very readable so if we get a request uh, to change some url we no need to check out some code and do in production also we can just uh, update this ui and uh, that respect to data page you can refer uh, like this will give the you may configure a report definition to give the when we pass this environment integration uh, and enable as true then uh, we can get the url if you want then you maintain like this so here uh, equal to data page name suppose if we think like a link uh, and you pass the parameters over here so if you maintain like this right uh, it will be very useful uh, from in, uh, environment to environment uh, while we are promoting code also so you no need to worry like uh, application setting in sat it is one value and in production it is another value just in that uh, data type if you do the changes it will be more uh, configurable and read only mode and this category also you define your own categories for each integration so that also we have under sysadmin category so if you are going to have an integration right then you create uh, that uh, respect to category over here and uh, you define over here that is one and another thing is data pages so if we go to data pages suppose if we have a list uh, data pages right if you scroll down uh, you can see the definitions and all if you go to load management so this reload once per interaction right only for uh, the most used data pages you have this uh, reload once per interaction because uh, i've seen like a few of the people even though they have some suppose countries or state list like that so that is not frequently updated so in that scenarios there we no need to give this reload once per interaction uh, so if you give this reload once per interaction every time you refer it will be a calling a database hit and uh, performance issues will be there so that is unnecessary and if you are going to change that particular data type you come and come here and uh, click on clear data page and this is definition and if you want to give some parameters you can give that parameters under you can access with uh, these keys also 
uh, when you are going to use this respective database this is about list database suppose this is a page structure database we know that we have both but load data page also if you come down limit to a single data page so suppose you are having a case this particular single data page is used uh, 10 times if you did not uh, select this option right on your clipboard those uh, data pages will be piled up uh, with uh, different pool ids so instead of that if you give this so every time one single data page only it will be there and our clipboard carries only one single data page and uh, case consistency will be there across the application uh, so these are the common mistakes i have seen like a few people performing that and uh, he, another one is use ternary conditions yes suppose uh, you want to set some value uh, based on uh, some criteria example uh, let's go to this data transfer yeah suppose uh, here you want to set right uh, if uh, some value is uh, b then uh, set this value otherwise you don't want you want to set null so instead of uh, having multiple if else right you can use uh, this uh, ternary condition so which is uh, you know very useful for us like uh, suppose uh, you have a some condition like uh, so this is just sample condition so in that scenario you want to set a px result of one value then you can give that uh, otherwise if you want to make it null in this uh, when the connection is not rest so instead of you know you writing i have seen like many people like using like when and uh, adding another child care child here and adding uh, otherwise when so this is like inside suppose if you want to directly add outside uh, like uh, otherwise when so instead of this if else right you can just uh, use this uh, ternary condition it will be very easy and readability of the data transform is also more easy for us and history tabs uh, i see that a uh, few of the projects like right, uh, they won't update history tabs just they copy paste uh, um, here uh, so instead of that, uh, have uh, changes uh, based on some date like DD, like uh, the respect to date like 24th October 25, 24 and uh, some user story number and uh, add the changes uh, that you are uh, uh, specifying. So it is very useful when we want to update something because uh, all the rules don't have this uh, compare with. So a few of the rules don't have uh, this uh, compare with the older versions or earlier versions so it is very useful if you update your history tab every time and uh, remove unused uh, pages and classes as yes, uh, we know that uh, we have a habit of just uh, copy pasting or doing a survey so if we have uh, some data transform activity where we have to find some 10 pages and just we did service and there we are not referring that that is not required you are confusing that other developers also why just uh, spend some two to three minutes to, to delete the unused pages and classes over there and uh, audit so we might uh, get a requirement like uh, so which user has uh, clicked this flow action or which user has approved this uh, submit and you want to have an audit so instead of uh, doing some customization code we in uh, flow action right yeah and uh, so if you go to a flow action under secure tab you can see audit the use of this flow action if you select this there is a otb activity call audit so this respect to flow action work dash activity you can use so this basically you know see even pega is not having history that updated uh, properly so this particular history tab uh, you can uh, pass this so under audit page it will be saved so that uh, goes to log hyphen data access audit uh dear pega team please update the description and uses so it will be useful for everyone and another thing is enable client side validations yeah so we know that a few of the flow uh, validations we can do it on client side validation instead of a server hit so if you go to html yes html under html tab you can see this enable client side validation 
if you select this enable cancel validation it is very uh, this is one of the useful component so instead of multiple server hits a few of the things uh, this flow action supports is client validation so you can specify that so this is all about uh, some of the useful tips just i have listed few in next video i'll try to add uh, some more if uh, you feel something already you are practicing it please feel free to comment on the video or some of the practices you want uh, others also to know about it you feel uh, free to comment on this video so it will be useful for this pega world thanks for watching this video hope you like this content as it is free of course please share like comment and subscribe to my channel share your knowledge as well in comments